laying down on the job if Bailey finds out I'm in trouble. So, I'm working on a fueling upgrade for the crew cab. And what I've got here is a set of power driven diesel 7x11 injectors. These are a pretty affordable injector. And since I have 307 gears and my truck doesn't turn a lot of RPMs, I think the seven holes will work out pretty good. That's what I'm gonna try anyway. Um, I got a set of injectors here. These are not the ones out of the truck. These are just some I have laying around. So I'm gonna pull these down, put these new bodies on, set the pop pressure, and make sure they're chattering like they're supposed to and everything looks good. And then these will be ready to go in the truck at some point in time when I get around to doing that. I got to swap some head studs around into it before I do that. I'm afraid that uh, this will put it beyond the stock head bolt holding ability. And uh, I really would just as soon not replace a head gasket if I can avoid it. So it'd be head bolts first then injectors to see what these will do. So... Won't get to see what these will do this video, but you will get to see how to put together a set of injectors from tips. So, I'm going to get over to the vise and I'll bring you back. Okay, so injectors in the vise. My 15 millimeter socket. Huh, that was already loose. Unscrew one of these. Might have all been a part because I robbed the shims out of them. Need the plate. Won't need this injector. Randy Richard Scribe. Yep, looks like no shims. That probably ain't gonna work. Plate on, be sure the hole's turned the right way. Stops in there. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be too low to get any pop pressure. Make sure injector tips on. Yeah, until it didn't collapse the spring any. That never worked. Go find a sham. I'm just gonna throw one of these 69s in here. Start and reference. Might go up, might go down. It's loading spring now. Focus injector. Forty five foot pounds. Well, best I figure, I need another 24,000 shim. Okay, so this is my nozzle tester. We'll check the pop. It's 
cracking right about 3,500. Maybe a tad before. And see that cloud of fuel. Looks good. Let's just rinse and repeat. Source cracking right around 3,500. Got a nice spray pattern. All we look for is uh, leakage out the return hole. It's not spewing, so that's good. Well, that's going to do it for the at-home uh, budget builder injectors, how to put them together, set them up, and pop test them, and even flamethrow test them, just to, you know, have some fun. But uh, these nozzles all check good. One of them was uh, dirty out of the box, had to take it apart and clean it a little bit, blow it out in order to get it to chatter good, but after I did that, it chatters just like all the rest of them. These are all spraying good, atomizing nice, and they should be ready to go in the truck when I get to that point. So, if you ever need to do some injectors, it's not really hard to do. Uh, you do need a lot of shims, though, if you're going to get the pressure set. So, that's uh, kind of the one drawback. Normally, I'm setting P-pump injectors whenever I'm full with these, so my shims are all for higher pressures. I didn't have a lot of stuff in order to set these at 3,500. I had to use everything I had and then uh, go to the surface grinder and grind two more to get them down thin enough in order to get the pressure low enough for this to work. But I got it done, and that's one thing off the checklist of things to do. So we'll get these put in at some point in the future and see how they perform. But for now, at least they're assembled and together and know everything's functioning. If you do something like this and you need some of these shims, uh, I'm sure Area Diesel Service can fix you up with these. Uh, they may even have a kit, I'm not sure, of various sizes. And I think Power Driven has a kit too with some little shims, but I'm, I think theirs are just the real thin shims that you just add to your existing ones to raise the pressure in like 50 or 100 pound increments. Uh, the preferred method is to use the thicker shims. I've seen those little shims break apart and flake over time from repeated cycles and then they wind up going through your injector tips and tearing them up and that's not good. So. If you can use two thicker ones to get where you want to go, or one really thick one, I think they make some singles thick enough to set these pressures individual. Uh, normally on the P-pump stuff, it's got two in it, but these VEs might get by with just one if you had some real thick ones. From what I was setting up here, it looked like you need to be in the 80 to 85,000 range in order to get the proper pop-off pressure with these particular nozzles. But you're, that varies depending on the particular tip, so not all will set up at that. But that's what these 7-11s, of course they call them 11s, but they're actually something smaller than that because I tried my 11,000s pin in them and they wouldn't go in. So they're like 7, 10 and a half or something maybe. This job's not real hard to do if you want to tackle it yourself. Uh, pretty much just need a torque wrench and try and keep everything pretty clean 
uh, and the nozzle part of it anyway and you need a way to pop test them to verify what the pressures are set at other than that there's not much to it so anybody could do this at home with the right equipment thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i'll catch y'all later